this was a very significant day in my political life yeah, because this marked the beginning of my campaign. As you can see, people came in large numbers from all over the constituency. This is a testament to the fact that uh, people are interested in electing leaders and not the party. Uh, as you are aware, I'm running uh, on independent ticket. I'm not running on any party ticket. And this was actually informed by the fact that the nomination process in the party was not above board. And uh, we knew, and this has happened previously in Suna East, where an individual has always been given a uh, party ticket uh, without being subjected to a uh, competitive process. But even where the process has been allowed to continue, it has always been marred by a lot of irregularities, a lot of underhand dealings, and a lot of uh, impropriety. And that is why when I was running around the constituency talking to my supporters, they had an interest in me representing them in the August House, and they told me very clearly that I have to be on the ballot. And I told them, running through the popular party in this area was actually, uh, had a lot of uh, issues that would have not made me be on the ballot, but they gave me that confidence. They told me that, just run, we will be with you. And today I've proved that my people are with me. And uh, what I want to stress, especially as an independent candidate, is that in these elections, we only have one candidate that we are supporting as a, as a coalition, and that is Azimio. Uh, Raila Amolo Odinga, who is poised to be our fifth president, uh, the fifth president of this republic, is actually not running on ODM ticket. And as you are aware, in Suna East constituency, or even in the entire Migori County, so many politicians, so many candidates are running on tickets that are not necessarily those of the popular party. I know there are people running on Jubilee. I know there are people running on DAP. I know there are people running on Safina and all these other parties that have others which are not even in the coalition, in, in the Azimio coalition. So really, what we are telling our people is that the most important thing is to elect a leader a leader that is going to deal with the issues that are affecting you. We know from experience, we know from what has happened in the last 10 years that Suna East has had a lot of issues in terms of development, and this is what we want to cure. And therefore, we are not talking about six piece anymore. We are going to elect candidates. If the party candidate is stronger than other candidates, he will be elected. But if he's weak, sorry, he's not going to be elected because people have realized that the party candidates have actually given them road deals. And we've seen in constituencies where independent candidates have been elected, or even candidates with other people, other parties other than the popular party, uh, services have been rendered. We are talking of uh, Suna West. We are talking of Kisumu East. We are talking of uh, Ugenya. And, and so many other constituencies across, uh, across this region. And therefore, that is the message that let's go out, let's come out on 9th of August uh, of this year, vote for candidates that we feel are going to represent as well, candidates that we feel are going to make us achieve our dreams, candidates that we are confident about, that we know are up to the task, that have both the what it takes to deliver services to the people.